I would be remiss if I do not talk about Sambuanga City. As uh, mayor of Sambuanga City, it is my responsibility, my obligation to promote the good, the positive, the beautiful, and the best of Sambuanga City. And I hope that you will allow me some time to talk about Sambuanga City. Many times over, I have always told the people of the city that to be mayor of a city like Sambuanga is a very, very challenging, demanding, and indeed, it is not an easy task. Unlike other areas, Sambuanga City is a city of diverse cultures, a multi-ethnic society where human issues and human needs, religion, education, conflict resolution, and many others interact in very, very complex patterns. Our location may be strategic, but at times, the very reason of some of our problems, especially in terms of image, making public service increasingly demanding and challenging. Sustainable competitive advantage is the focal point of our development strategies. We continue to work for very hard with the aim to transform Sambuanga into a more attractive city to tourists and investors a city that will ultimately bring about economic growth. At this point in time, I would like to tell you something about our city seal. This is our city seal, which has been used for a very, very long time. It has a story in itself. You have the cross. The cross there symbolizes Christianity because Sambuanga is the bastion of Christianity in the island of Mindanao. It was the first diocese in the island of Mindanao, and all the other 22 dioceses and prelates, prelatures, were born out of the diocese of Sambuanga. While the majority of the population is Christian, we also have a sizable uh, community of followers of Islam, and that is why we have the Crescent Moon. But here in Sambuanga, Christians and Muslims live side by side with each other, live in harmony, live in unity with each other. We have two dates, 1635. 1635 was when the first cornerstone of Port Pilar was laid, and that is when we trace the beginnings of what Sambuanga is today. Because after the fort was built, settlements started forming around the fort, and Sambuanga eventually emerged. That building, the structure on the left is Fort Pilar. Then you have 1937 and the building on the right. That building is our city hall. It was constructed in 1905, and so we already celebrated the centennial of the city hall. 1937 was the year when the first officials, when the first mayor of Sambuanga was installed into office. The first mayor of Sambuanga was Mayor Nicasio Valderosa. Actually, while the first officials were installed into office in 1937, we got our charter in 1936. That was the charter signing. That was President Manuel del Queson, and the person behind Manuel del Queson is Pablo Lorenzo, who happens to be my grandfather, and he was the second mayor of Sambuanga City. In that picture, there is a student in a school uniform, and she happens to be the daughter of Pablo Lorenzo, my mother, who after almost 60 years from 1939, when my grandfather was installed in office, became also a mayor of Sambuanga City. Going back to the city seal, 
There is the fish, because as I will explain later, some Wanga is very, very rich in marine resources. And then we have the Vinta, which is one of the symbols of our city. As I said earlier, Sambuanga is strategically located in the southernmost tip of the island of Mindanao. It is located 505 nautical miles from Manila. And if you notice, we are closer to our ASEAN neighbors than we are to Manila. Kota Kinabalu, 365 nautical miles. Sandakan, 252. Menado, Indonesia, 345. Brunei, 467. While Manila is 505. In terms of population, for the 2000 census, Zamboanga had 774 inhabitants. Out of the 122 cities in the Philippines, Zamboanga, in terms of population, ranks number six. Very high on the list. The only cities that outrank us in terms of population is Quezon City, Manila, Caloocan, then comes Davao, then comes Cebu, and very close behind is Zamboanga City. In terms of land area, if we are sixth in population, Zamboanga City is even higher when it comes to land area. We are number three out of the 122 cities, Zamboanga City is the third largest city with 1,483 square kilometers. Just to highlight how big that is, the 17 cities in Metro Manila and one municipality have a combined area of 640 square kilometers. Meaning you can take the whole of Metro Manila and put it into Zamboanga and we will have more than one half of our area spare. We have a very, very long coastline of more than 130 kilometers. You can be driving from our west coast boundary in Papa down to City Hall and up to our east coast boundary, which is Lico. You can be driving for two hours and you will still be in Tampuanga City. Tampuanga City, if we look at the competitive advantages of Tampuanga City, Tampuanga City is one of the oldest cities in the Philippines, very, very rich in history and very rich in culture. Zamboanga City used to, used to be known as the City of Flowers. However, that branding of City of Flowers is no longer unique to the City of Zamboanga. When you say City of Flowers, the City of Baguio can raise their hands and say, we are the City of Flowers, they have their Palapenga Festival, and there are so many flowers in Bac. Going down further south, Tagaytay City also has a lot of flower farms. And they too can claim to be the city of flowers. Right here in Mindanao, Davao is very, very famous for its orchid, for its exotic flowers, for tropical flowers. Davao too will say, Kami por, Kami ang city of flowers. Diba, Councilor? So that branding is not unique. To Sambuanga City. What sets Sambuanga City apart from all the 122 cities in the Philippines and all the cities in Asia is that we are the only city where the majority of the population speak, use, understand a Spanish derivative language called Chapacan. Si conversaya con ustedes que laya capita conversa en Sambuanga que la haya cantido tan alto en una instrucción de la Citión, que la haya cabeza en una campaña de entablado cuando está llegada en la elección, que la haya en noticias que sale en el radio, en la televisión, seguro muchos de ustedes no entienden lo que digo. I said, you know, if I speak to you the way we do, we speak to each other on an everyday basis, the way instructions are given in City Hall, the way we campaign, the way we campaign when election time comes, the way the news in the local uh, uh, TV channels and radios are aired, perhaps you will not understand me. So that is why I would rather speak in English. And that is also the very same reason why Kambuanga City is now known as Asia's 